Sitting up in a chair has many important benefits. Changing positions regularly helps to prevent pressure sores and fluid buildup in the lungs. A change in scenery can also lift a person's spirits and make eating or visiting more enjoyable. As a caregiver, it's important to know your body's abilities and limitations so you can avoid injury when providing care to someone else. It's also very important to know the ability and reliability of the person you're helping. If there are wheels in the bed, ensure they're in the locked position. Raise the level of the bed to slightly above chair height. After explaining what you're going to do, raise the head of the bed as far as it'll go. Both you and the patient should be wearing comfortable, non-slip footwear. Move the wheelchair into position as close to the bed as possible. Make sure that the path to the chair is clear, the brakes are on, the foot pedals have been removed, and any other equipment you need is readily available. Move the person's legs over the side of the bed, then help them sit at the edge of the bed with both feet planted on the floor. Be sure to move slowly and give the person time to adjust to the position changes. Moving too quickly can cause the person to feel dizzy or lightheaded. Place the person's hands on the edge of the bed or armrest of the chair, instructing them to push up when you count to three. Facing the person, plant your feet shoulder width apart with one foot on either side of the person's legs. Standing as close as you can, bend your knees and lean towards them, placing your arms under their arms and around their back. On the count of three, stand upright with the person, using your legs, not your back. Wait a few seconds until any dizziness passes, then turn together, moving your feet to pivot so you don't damage your knees. Shuffle backwards until the patient can feel the chair. Encourage the person to place their hands on the arms of the chair. Then the two of you will sit together until a patient is in the chair. Sitting can take quite a bit of energy for people who are feeling weak. It's important to notice the signs that a person may be getting tired or feeling uncomfortable so that they can be helped back to bed. Remember, it's easier and safer to help a person back to bed when they still have some strength than when they feel exhausted. The technique involved in returning a patient to bed is the exact reverse of what's just been demonstrated. If a person can't stand on their own, it's not safe to move them using this technique. In such cases, two people must assist or a mechanical lift is used. In this case, talk to your home care office about the equipment options available. These may include transfer or gate belts, assistive devices such as trapeze bars and floor-to-ceiling poles, and mechanical lift devices.